New Zealand are hoping to become the first team to win the Rugby World Cup. This week, New Zealand returned to their team bus only to find it boxed in by a badly parked 4x4. The training-ready All Blacks disembarked, grabbed a bumper and wheel arch each, and started bouncing the offending vehicle. A couple of minutes muscle later and a couple of tons of metal were out of the way. If the odds are correct, they will expend little more effort in clearing their path to the final. Argentina are 10-1 outsiders in a two-horse race. The two teams have played each other 36 times, and New Zealand have won 33, including all three World Cup encounters. The history leans one way, but the pricing of that bet is slanted even more by New Zealand's recent form. Since their opening day defeat by France, a game they led until the 55th minute, they have stealthily, steadily built formidable momentum. Rugby Union Daily Can Argentina shock the All Blacks? Can Michael Chica conquer Everest again to lead Pumas to final? Mark Tellia back for All Blacks in Rugby World Cup semi-final walloping wins over Namibia. Italy and Uruguay have given them the standout attacking stats of any of the last four teams. So far in France, they average nearly 700 meters with ball in hand, 14 clean breaks, and 35 defenders beaten per game. But even more compelling to New Zealand's title credentials was how they glistened under the State de France lights on Saturday evening. In their quarter-final win over Ireland, there was steel in defense and scalpel-like accuracy in attack. They tackled Ireland to a near standstill. By the match's epic final play, Johnny Sexton's stride was down to a shuffle as he and his side tried in vain to find a way through. By contrast, half an hour earlier, the mercurial Richie Moanga had glided to Ireland's defensive wall like he had a ticket for platform nine and three quarters to set up Will Jordan's try. It was a typically clinical raid into Irish territory. Bowden Barrett's deft chip had set up wing Leicester Fanganuku's early score before Artie Savia stealthily stayed wide to sting Ireland at the end of a pre-planned line-out play. New Zealand made only six entries into the opposition 22 metres, compared to Ireland's 14, but they were ruthless in the red zone. The whole performance was set on a base of spotless basics. New Zealand were perfect on their own line-out ball. They didn't commit a single handling error. It was quintessential New Zealand smart, slick, skillful, and enough to make the Pumas shrink and belief wilt. But Argentina's coach Michael Chica is not one to be awed by all-black magic. 